Hey, what's up guys? Jandi here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And wherever you are in this world, hope you guys are staying safe. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I was able to create a drop shipping Shopify store that generates me over $300 in profit passively. Yes, I did just say passively that's literally hands off I don't have to do anything with the store I just let it be and the profit is consistent sustainable and it's really really easy to do which is kind of a different approach on how I would do things but I'm liking it better this way and I'm gonna tell you guys how I was able to do that anyways we're going to cover what kind of store it is how I was able to find the product how I tested the product, how I made it passive, and also all the profit. I'm gonna be showing that to you guys at the end of this video. Yes, I haven't uploaded in a couple of weeks. It's just that I've been really, really busy with my stores. I currently have four stores running at the moment that's generating a revenue on a daily basis. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, I recently posted that me and my fiance actually just purchase our first home which is a huge accomplishment for both of us and that kept us really busy however let's move on because this video is going to be fire it's going to be full of valuable information that has not been shared before and if you enjoyed this video obviously make sure to hit that thumbs up it really helps me as a content creator to keep producing these good contents for you guys and also if you haven't subscribed or hit that notification bell feel free to do so let's go all right so a quick general overview of the store it is a branded niche store like most of my stores that are running at the moment and if you don't know this channel is all about branded niche stores because it's probably the most sustainable type of stores in the e-commerce drop shipping space and unfortunately i won't be able to share with you guys the store because of the nature of the product initially i tested about three products and there is one main product and it's actually higher ticket range which is about 130 dollars average order value and i'm getting the product at about 60 to 70 dollars so there's that 60 dollars profit margin in there which is a huge plus especially if you want to build something that is sustainable long term and hands off like what i'm going to be discussing today currently using a premium a prestige theme on this shopify store and actually i'm going to quickly show you guys our stats so here we have the store it's generated over 1280.55 dollars uh, so far today and we still have a few hours to go anyway that's kind of where it's at at the moment on a daily basis anyway and i haven't scaled this product at all i'm gonna tell you why in a second so we started testing the products at around 14 of april and obviously one product popped off so that means we were able to mini scale it which is just horizontal scale just testing different kinds of audiences and see what works and you know on a daily basis we get about thousand uh, dollars in revenue on average or more and three hundred dollars profit um, on average as well sometimes we can get up to six hundred dollars profit sometimes seven hundred dollars profit but that's where we are at at the moment i'm going to be showing you guys the whole profit of this store at the end of this video so make sure you stay tuned now let's move on to how i found the product it's actually just in usa but first let me tell you about the product it is in the health and fitness niche and basically just solves a lot of problem as well which is kind of booming right now with all these covid stuff so so that particular niche is really good at the moment because previously it will be harder to test around those niche just because of how competitive it is however it's the perfect time right now which i was able to fortunately enough create an opportunity around it I tested multiple products and I found this main winning products in USA 
So basically I was looking at AliExpress and filtering using the USA shipment only and I was looking at CJ drop shipping and just googling all these kinds of products within just USA only. Once I found the supplier, I then asked them if they had other products. So when when they showed me their product line, I was able to test three kinds of product. I found one winning product, which is in the higher ticket range, $130 with a $70 profit margin, which is really awesome because now I'm able to play around with much bigger budget, especially with ads itself. There is a downside to this. It's kind of like a heavier type product. However, the good side is take note. This is really, really important because no drop shippers can test this because typically with AliExpress and if it's from China, you'll have a lighter product. However, if it's USA based, then you'll be able to find winning products a lot easier because you have literally zero competition. And this is really important guys, probably one of the most valuable information that you can get from this video i've been testing a lot of product that is still drop shipping but not drop shippable through aliexpress if that makes sense i hope you guys are getting my point because this is really important if you want to level up your e-commerce drop shipping store so now that you're getting the picture i'm going to tell you why it works really well besides the fact that we have a higher profit margin and the fact that no one has tested this product before using facebook ads and using drop shipping that just boosted our chance of making this a winning product but as well as making it brandable and capitalizing on the fast shipping time and if you don't know the cost of shipping from china and also the shipping time has increased by a lot so you're looking at around 20 to 30 days nowadays to ship from china to usa and also the shipping cost has increased by at least two dollars which is quite unfortunate however this is good for you guys who are looking into creating something more sustainable and just overall better customer value which is the whole idea of a branding you want to provide as much value to your customers they will come back to you and purchase from you again now there is a downside with this strategy that i'm telling you today I'm limited to minimum quantities of the products because first it's a heavier product. Secondly, um, you had to ask your supplier to bring in more to ship more into their USA warehouse, which can take a lot of time because it's a heavier product and they had to ship through using the sea freight, which takes about roughly around 30 to 45 days. Um, and hence why you don't see big numbers here, which I don't really mind. Now, in my opinion, this works better than those uh, crappy old products from AliExpress plus that longer shipping time. And hence you're basically making it hard for yourself or making it impossible for you to brand that product. And the good thing with this is while you're testing the product, you don't have to scale at all to be able to be profitable. And throughout that time, you test the product for two weeks and it's sustainable, it's giving you consistent profit. And then what you wanna do next is private label or talk to your supplier and tell them to order more so you can scale even further. Now you don't wanna scale too much. You don't wanna saturate your creatives and your product straight away. Just tag along. Since you have no competition at all, you don't have to rush. You don't have to worry about inconsistent days where you don't profit at all. So just make sure that you're doing it right from the get-go and you start thinking about long-term rather than short-term. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you guys how I tested this product just really quickly. Now, this is today's stats. You know, we are getting about 5.11 ROAS and 11.7 ROAS on lookalikes. So on average, we're getting seven ROAS, which is pretty awesome. Our break even is about $60. And like I said, we tested this product around Tuesday, April 14. So we'll just go have a look at that. So I'll go from 13 to 14. So you guys know that we didn't spend anything on 13. Here we have April 14. It's a simple quick strategy. I did ABO for this one. 
ten dollars per ad set seven ad sets so we spent about seventy dollars uh, on that day and we saw you know good return on ad spend and also good cost per purchase like I said sixty dollars break even for cost per purchase and we were happy with the stats here we go CPC is really good and CTR is really good and this is where people actually get stuck and most of my consulting calls actually relate to how to understand the metrics better there's no one strategy that fits all you just gotta look at the stats and base your decisions on the metrics itself for example i was really happy with the cpm this is usa only and typically if you see under 15 dollars cpm that's really good okay under a dollar cost per click is really good in usa and over two percent unique ctr is also really good in usa and i just left that running for about one week okay you know just generating me profit every single day i actually average 8.21 ROAS over four days and what we did next is we started testing different kinds of audiences and see what works best okay fast forward to last month and as you can see we generated over twenty thousand dollars and spent about two thousand seven hundred dollars on the main product itself at seven ROAS now this eight ROAS here is simple retargeting uh, twenty dollars and then we started testing other products as well you know um, generating over 3.2 ROAS, 3.6 ROAS. However, out of stock as usual, this is the downside of this strategy, but that's no problem. You know, once that restocks, then we can scale both products at a reasonable rate. Now, I just want to fast forward to this month. Um, and you can see here at the top, this is just lookalikes, you know, really simple as well uh abo lookalikes about 10 different audiences and our interest is still the same for this one retargeting is doing really well so that's that with the facebook ads now let's talk about how i was able to make this a passive income drop shipping store like i said at the start i have one va that manage this whole business which is pretty awesome typically if you're scaling a product you will need you know a few vas in in your team however for this particular stores it is such a low maintenance store that i don't have to think about it i don't have to touch it at all maybe five minutes per per week even just to look at the ads and see how that's performing i don't even have to create facebook ad rules but that's optional as well and that va just does the order fulfillment which is csv file and send that to the supplier and then the customer service side which is just emails and also the facebook comments now that typically takes about one to two hours per day depending on the demand and i only pay her about five dollars per hour which is a huge investment for me i don't have to think about the store at all and i only pay her about seven dollars fifty on average per day okay and that's about you know 35 to 40 dollars per week and that is literally nothing if you are generating over $300 profit on average per day. Now, just to expand on that, my Facebook setup, as you saw my Facebook ad, I have one campaign that's just running testing interest and literally hands off. And then I created my retargeting, $20 retargeting, just four different audiences, really, really easy to set up. And I also have my lookalike audiences campaign and that's basically the whole structure of it you don't have to touch anything be because like i said at the start there's no competition at all so you don't have to worry about different kinds of strategies and why it's not working you saw from those stats how consistent it is and i'm really happy with that now let's talk about the back end of uh, this particular store it helps with the overall profit margin and also literally just want everything to be hands off i have email automation flows such as you know post purchase email flows um, and also abandoned cart email flows and then browse abandoned 
email flows. So those three are the main flows that I set up for this particular store. And it took me about less than a week to completely set up this store here. And then I also have obviously SMS abandoned email flow as well. So obviously when they abandon cart, they get sent an SMS and you actually find really, really good return on investment with that. And that is the overview of the whole store. Now let's jump into my computer. I'm going to be showing you guys the whole profit of this store currently. All right, guys. So this is our total revenue expense and profit from April 14 to May 24, $60,000 revenue. Cogs were around $32,000. Ads were around $10,000 in expense. This includes VA, Shopify fees, and Shopify billings um, at around $2,045.46. So that leaves us with a total profit of $16,300. And the average profit per day is four hundred and seven dollars now i hope you guys enjoyed that video if you did make sure to hit that thumbs up and also hit that notification bell if you haven't done so subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys soon